Um, social annotation makes thinking visible. And my thinking is not, oh, it's precise. My thinking can be flawed. My thinking can have blind spots or biases. My thinking may simply be wrong, for example. And so one of the things that I really value about social annotation is it makes people's thinking visible to others. And that then can lead to all kinds of potential change, uh, all kinds of aspects, again, of learning. Um, when I think about notions of, of, of distributed cognition, uh, of cognition that is stretched across multiple texts, multiple people, and that really exists beyond the mind of Ramey. You know, my thinking limited in my head is really rather insufficient. Our thinking together has far more potential to be consequential, particularly in a teaching and learning context. And social annotation makes that distributed cognition viable and pliable. And it allows us to work with one another and our texts in very consequential ways. And that's one of, for me, the real, one of the real uh, exciting things about, about social annotation.